Meet Sophia Dorothea. This is the ex-wife of George I. She's a very significant person in the royal family. She is, after all, the mother of the future king, George II. And yet this is the only contemporary portrait of her in the whole of the royal collection. There's a reason for that. She was talked about in whispers at the court of George I because of what she'd done. Back in Germany, before coming over to Britain, George had married his first cousin, Sophia Dorothea of Zeller. But it wasn't a love match. It was a marriage of state, a strategic move by the House of Hanover to increase its territory. Sophia and George cared little for one another. But George did care about his dignity and his reputation. Sophia started an adulterous relationship with a Swede, Count Konigsmark, who was serving in the Hanoverian army. Unfortunately, they weren't discreet. Their letters got out. Here's a sample from him to her. What joy, what rapture have I tasted in your arms? Ye gods, what a night I spent. With this sort of thing circulating through the drawing rooms of Europe, though, George was humiliated. A scandal was about to unfold that would inflame court gossip and spawn conspiracy theories for years to come. It all came to a head here at the family's palace on the River Liner. One night here at the Liner Palace, we hear that Count Konigsmark was creeping along the corridors to Sophia's room when he was set upon by an assassin. And this is the spot in the river where the Swede's dead body is said to have been thrown. The culprits were never apprehended. The whole affair was hushed up and George never spoke about his estranged wife, her lover, or the murder ever again. Count Konigsmark's disappearance was wrapped up in mystery, but we do know exactly what happened next to Sophia. She was put on trial for the crime of adultery. She was divorced by her husband, and his punishment was to lock her up in a remote German castle for the rest of her life. That sounds pretty bad, but there was worse. The couple had a son, another George, the future George II of Great Britain. He was only 11. Sophia was now parted from her son, and he would never see his mother again. This left a massive gap in the young Prince George's life, for which he naturally blamed his father. It was this traumatic event that triggered what you might call an Oedipal conflict between George I and his son, Prince George. This feud would have a cataclysmic effect on the royal family for decades to come. Not even Prince George's marriage and the birth of his own children could heal the rift. <laughs> 